Hey YouTube, Paul here again. Just wanted to do a quick video review on the Linksys E4200 wireless router. Here's a look at the wireless router itself. I had to go handheld for this one. Um, here's an iPod Touch to give you a size comparison. It's not that much bigger than the iPod Touch. And if we look at it, we have one main light here in the center. I'll see if I can zoom in a little. Good, I'm doing this handheld so it might be a tad shaky. There's one light in the center. That's the only light that will light up the little Cisco thing. With that, it just says E4200. We zoom back out here and we look at the back. We have your power adapter, USB reset, or no, that's your sync button, that's your reset. Um, then you have your internet port and your four Ethernet gigabit ports. Um, overall, I'd say the router is a good design. It's got a nice matte finish that doesn't leave fingerprints easily. However, there is one thing I noticed, and that is there are no screw mounts, so you cannot mount it on the wall. On the back here you have little LEDs for each Ethernet port that can be turned, ho turned off. However, you cannot turn off the front LED here. That will always be on as long as the router is on. And if it's flashing that means there's something wrong and most likely you'll have to reset the router. Now if we go over here and look at the, the cable for once, there's actually a power brick with this cable. So I, I found that to be interesting. It's just a quick look. Small power brick. Again, iPod for comparison. So anyways, that's just the quick part. I'm going to pop you guys back on the tripod and I'll give you my thoughts on the router. The router, I'm going to share my thoughts with you guys on it. Um, the router was easy to set up. I liked the look of it. It came with a CD. You just pop that into the computer. Plugged in the uh, Ethernet cable going from your internet modem to the port on back labeled internet and popped into the other to one of the four Ethernet slots and from there you just popped in the CD to computer, ran it, and it automatically configured the router, which is nice. It had the ability to either assign it an SSID and a password or you could choose your own. So if you have an older router and say it died and you're just upgrading to this one, you can choose that so you don't have to re-enter all the data in each computer. Now, if you guys were looking closely, it did have a USB port on back. That can only be used for a hard drive or USB flash drive. It cannot be used for a printer. Um, I'd like to see that possibly added because that pretty much looks like a firmware thing to me, although I'm not the most, the best expert in it. Um, again, you guys already know my thoughts on the wall mounts on it. I wish they would have added them. I don't see why they couldn't have added them. And the light on front, I like the fact having only one light. I'd still like the ability to turn it off in case the router is in your room and there's a flashing light all night or light just that's continuously on. Now. The router does broadcast in both 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz bands. The 2.4 one will go, will go up to 300 MHz wirelessly, and the 5 GHz one will go up to 450 MHz wirelessly. Um, as far as the internet speeds, I have Comcast internet right now, and just directly connected to the modem I get between 18 and 20 MB per second. The router I saw no difference, wired or wirelessly, which is always nice because I've had routers in the past where you get 18 megabit per second wired and 0.5 megabit per second wireless. Big improvement over the years. Um, the router does get a tad hot. I personally am not a fan of hot routers, but if it works good and it's not going to break, it's not my biggest concern in the world. So yeah, as far as uh, gaming goes on it, you get a moderate NAT type. However, if you go into the 192.168.1.1, which is the advanced user settings, enter in admin and then your wireless password, you should be able to change that by going into DMZ and simply forwarding the Xbox's port or using port forwarding to do that. So overall, this is a really good product and I'd definitely say it was pretty much worth the money. See you guys next time.